Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a fun little timer. This is just a creative little timer that easily lets you set a timer for many preset times or set whatever custom time you want. Now we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of this, show you how it works, show you why this is a fun little thing, and talk about it a little bit more here in a minute. First though, if you wanna find this on the Amazon, I will pull a link to this down in the show, it's down below, so you can find out current pricing out there with this. I hate talking about pricing because pricing changes so rapidly, so check out the first pinned comment and check out the show notes for a link to it on Amazon. Also, this was a review unit sent to us by the company, thank you very much for that, but they don't get to see this review. Um, this is 100% my own opinion, and they'll see this review like you see it. Also, first, before we get into it, if you're new here, help us grow this channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, doing one or both. Let's YouTube know you enjoy us, so hopefully they recommend our videos to more people. And with that said, let's dive into this. Now, I'll show this in action in a minute, but let's kind of take a quick look at this. It's just a metal kind of looking cylinder with a bunch of different times on it, and then a reset here at the top. Now at the back, you have actually, or I should say this is on the bottom when it's standing up like this, there is actually a display here that shows you a countdown of the time, a minutes up, minutes or seconds up, micro USB for charging, and that's about it. There it goes. Let's see if I can, not very bright. It looks a lot brighter in person with this. You can see the countdown there. Now, the actual use of this is pretty ingenious. It's very simple. You to set it off, you set vertical, and then you set lay it on its side for whatever time you want. So it's on three minutes, it's gonna start a three minute timer, 15 minutes, etc. Here I'll show you real quick in this little video, I'll talk a little bit more about it. Now it's very simple to set up. There is volume to increase or decrease the volume of the alarm here when it goes off. So you can adjust how loud that is. And you can not just use the preset times of things like 10, 5, 3, 15, etc. You can have it go into regular timed um, 15, 20, whatever you want. You can go to 15, then add or subtract time on that too. So keep that in mind. Overall, this is a fun timer. If you have kids or class, it's very kind of a fun thing to slap it down and have it set for uh, 25 minutes. Oops, I just bumped the button. Sorry about that. It gives you an idea on moderate sound how loud that is. Um, of course, it goes a lot louder than that, so keep that in mind. Now, this is less of, a, I think, of an alarm clock because it's not really about, hey, 4 p.m. It's more about, hey, I want five minutes from now, 10 minutes from now. Hey kids, everybody's got 10 minutes. We're gonna pick up the house for 10 minutes. When this timer goes off, we're gonna stop. But for 10 minutes, we all need to work hard or whatever you do. I used to do that kind of stuff when I was a camp counselor too. Now I have kids, I use some of those same tactics now as an adult. But it's pretty nice. It is a plastic that's kind of painted as metal. It's not necessarily metal. And I will say it's not the biggest timer in the world. I'm about six foot tall, it easily fits in my palm of my hand, which is actually kind of nice because it fits into uh, drawers or wherever you may want to take it with you. Uh, I do like too how just flipping it up to stand it upright stops the timer, kind of like an old fashioned hourglass with sand in it and more. So pretty cool little feature here. Not a lot to say about it. I will say I was impressed with the um, creativity they applied in making a timer that stands out from the competition. It is kind of nice to kind of look and say, hey, 15, 25, 30, 10, 5, and 3 minutes to pick from. Just say, hey, I'm going to slap it, put it down. Whatever time is at the top of it when I lay it on its side is the time that will start the countdown with it. So keep that in mind. Overall, it's a pretty fun little device. And for the price, actually, I don't think it's too bad. I think my kids will actually get a kick out of it because it's kind of a fun, interesting thing. And you know you have kids. Sometimes you need to do fun, interesting things to get them moving to do things like clean. And having a race, having a timer on it is a fun way to do it. It could also be a timeout timer if you want to use it that way also. So timers with kids, I don't know about you, but for me, I find it very effective for my family to say, hey, to my daughter, you got five more minutes of electronics and that after that we're gonna go do whatever. Or five minutes until whatever. It's a fun little timer to make that happen. So two thumbs up, highly recommend it. It does what it says it's gonna do and does it well. I think the price is fair for what it is. Is it the cheapest? No, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of fun and kind of different and stands out and I think makes the price worth it. 
So with that said, if you want to find this on Amazon, I will put a link to it down below in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. If you want to um, help us grow this channel, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And with that said, we'll be back real soon with another video.